Welcome to Still Works in Bruin. My name is Randy, and this is a channel that's all about home distillation in Bruin. So what's today? Today is Moonshine Wednesdays. Now, what we're going to do is we're making an old-time favorite. I've made it a number of times on this channel, but uh, I believe it's one of the best apple pie moonshines that I've ever made. So that's what we're going to make today. Moonshine... Let me back up. Apple pie moonshine. Okay, so what ingredients do we need? Well, we got a lot of ingredients. So what we're going to, and I will put the uh, ingredients down in the in the uh, description box. Of course, you need one gallon of apple cider. The next thing we're going to need is some apple juice. We are going to need, uh, let's see, let me get all the spices first. We're going to need some brown sugar, some white sugar. Of course, some apple pie spices here, some cinnamon sticks, and for the alcohol in it, this is where it's going to get a little bit interesting. Okay. One thing that I'm going to do, now normally I'll put some high proof shine in there. All right, with others, and I'll get to that. But if you remember back, I made some clear apple pie, right? And it's it's 90 proof, but it's clear apple pie. It tastes fantastic, but I had a quart left over, and I had a little bit left over, and I figured, what is this going to be, an apple pie, apple pie? All right. So, but if you don't have this, but I will leave a card up here so you can check out how we did made it. And if I remember, I'll try. Uh, but if you don't have this, just good high proof shine uh, there. Then we will also use in this recipe is some good bourbon and spice rum. Yeah, that's that really adds a good kick to it. All right. Okay. Well, I'll show you how easy this is to make. And I got my big aluminum pot because it all wouldn't fit in my other pot, all right? So what I'll do is I'll pour it all in here, I'll put it on some uh, heat, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so let me show you how easy this is to make. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, our uh, apple cider and just pour that all in the pot. So that's one gallon of apple cider. I think I need to buy me a bigger pot. All right, so there's the apple cider. The next thing we're going to put in, and like I said, we'll put everything in the pot except for the alcohol. Don't, don't, don't mess up with that. All right, so let's put some apple juice in. So there we got the apple juice in. All right, so now the next thing is I want two cups of a brown sugar. Light or dark, I don't think it much matters, but we want two cups. There's one cup. And two cups of brown sugar. All right, next, we are going to have one cup of white sugar. I do love apple pie. I love giving it away. Uh, if I didn't make apple pie once a year, I'd have some disappointed people, I would think. So we want one one cup of white sugar. All right, we are getting ready to put some heat. All right, the next thing we want is 10 cinnamon sticks. I told you this is easy. I love moonshine Wednesdays. Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and ten. All right, Woo, we're almost ready. We're almost ready. Okay, so the next thing for the spices wise, well, I got a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and I got a quarter teaspoon of uh, allspice and I threw a couple of cloves in there. Just I put, I think just three. I put three in there just cause. Mmm, smells so good. So we're gonna put that in there too. All right. So, next thing we wanna do is we wanna get some heat on this. I swear that almost would have fit in that pot, but I couldn't mix the alcohol in. All right, so let me get some heat on this and I'll be right back. All right, I brought this pot up to a simmer and killed the heat. So now we want to let this cool down and then we can add in the, uh, the alcohol and then we'll finish this puppy up. Okay, so all that is cooled down to touch. So now it's time to put in the alcohol. So let's get that done, right? Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna use my clear apple pie moonshine. Ooh, it smells so good. So we're gonna put that in there. Whole bottle of that. That's not quite a quart because that's 750 milliliters. Okay, so the next thing we're going to put in is two cups of bourbon. All right, two cups of bourbon. There's one. And two cups of bourbon. And two cups of a spiced rum. Mmm, smells so good. One. Two, uh, there's only a little left. Two cups of spiced rum. All right. We'll give that a little stir. Okay, so now it's time to get it in some bottles. It sure does smell good. This is a fantastic uh, apple pie recipe. There's one. I wish I had a smaller pot. I need to buy me a pot in between. And some people put piece of apple in there, that'd be good too, but I normally don't do that. There's another one. All right, let me get these done, then I'll be right Okay, got all that bottled up. Now, what I'm using is these right here from here down are 750 milliliter, and these are a quart. Um, wait, I can give a little bit more away, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it smells so fantastic. This is one of my most favorite moonshines. 
and I think it's one of the most popular moonshines out there. And there's many recipes out there, but this one is very good. Let's let's try it. Wow! It is fantastic. I think the mixture of the shine and the, and the bourbon and a little bit of spice rum. Oh, if that was ice cold, it'd even be even better. Mmm, I can taste all this, the, the, you know, this, the apple pie spices in there. That is fantastic. Woo, I love it when a plan comes together. All right. I know some people have been waiting on apple pie moonshine. I'm gonna be glad to give it to them. All right, uh, and I did take out a cinnamon stick and put in each one. All right, so that that helped flavor out too. I think it does. After a few days, I think it's even so much better than it is right now. All right. Well, that's moonshine Wednesday. I hope everybody enjoyed that. I mean, I do love making apple pie. It has to be, like I said before, and I know I'm repeating myself, I love apple pie. It just, I think it's a staple, and I love this time of year to make it. Um, hey, I do have some fantastic recipes coming out, and I'm really excited about making it. I can't wait to get them out, so. I guess the last thing I got to say is, hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Still Works and Brewing. Cheers, everybody. Ooh, baby.